What up everyone, it's your boy FlozenG, and welcome back to another episode of Beyblade IRL. But in this episode, we are going to be testing the differences of the two modes of Lightning El Drago. The big, bad, forbidden bay with the dark power from the first series, Beyblade Metal Fusion. This guy has two distinct modes. Barrage mode, where the clear heads of the dragon wheel, aka the energy ring, cover up the claws and expose like the jagged edges. Whereas upper mode, where the dragon, where as the dragon heads cover the jagged edges and expose the claws. Both are strong in their own right, but let's see just which one is stronger. And I know normally I would start with a stamina test, but I completely forgot to do it. So we're just going to get right into the battles. And first up, El Drago is going to be going up against the Beyblade Rock Leon, owned by Kiyoya. Again, Kiyoya, my favorite character. Leon being a pretty ideal defense type. So how is the power of the attack type reverse rotation El Drago, both modes, going to affect Leon? Let's just find out. Alright, first up against Barrage Mode El Drago is Leon. How well is this going to go? Probably not well. Oh, actually, El Drago is already making some decent hits against Leon, but his defenses are staying strong. El Drago's losing stamina. Leon is also losing stamina a bit. But ultimately, oh wait a minute. Never mind. I don't never mind. I don't know anything. Now, nope. Leon managed to stay on. Alright, round two. Lion versus the dragon barrage mode. And what do you know? The dragon wins this time via stadium out. Heh, <laughs> Lion. On to a round three. Something I actually did not expect. <laughs> well, round three over. <laughs> Leon was like, nah, you're not about to hit me out of the stadium. Boom! <laughs> Fuck you, Bojago. If you hear something in the background, it's AC, so please don't mind it. But we're moving on to the upper mode battles. El Drago already trying to get Leon out of the stadium. Already had him a good couple times. Oh, nearly had him again. All it takes is going to take one strong hit to get Leon flown out of the stadium. But it looks like El Drago exerted way too much of his energy. Now Leon is just circling around and making him waste even more energy. So it looks like the lion is going to overpower the dragon this time. If the lion doesn't lose his balance first. But nope, the lion overpowers the dragon. Round two. It does seem that upper mode El Drago does have a stronger attack power. Case in point. That's one Leon and one El Drago. This next battle will decide it. Ooh, El Drago hung on to the edge of the stadium for a moment. Let's see if he can knock Leon out of the stadium. Again, all it takes is, ooh, one strong hit, and Leon can get flown out. Or El Drago can get flown out. It all depends on what's going to happen. But we're starting to get back to the beginning stages. Leon Leon was just circling, and El Drago loses. Seems as though the lion wins this battle. While both modes performed pretty well, I'm going to give this one to upper mode because at least upper mode wasn't flung out of the stadium by Leon. The next battle is going to be going up against Earth Eagle, another Beyblade that Ryuga and El Drago had fought in the actual anime. But will the eagle's wings allow him to soar too high for the dragon to catch him? We'll find out. All right, now for Eagle to go up against this barrage mode. Oh, I had I had the camera. Uh, there we go. That'll be, that'll be good for now. Go, El Drago. Oh, oh shit, Eagle's off balance. El Drago looks like he was getting a good number of hits to his underside. But El Drago cannot keep its stamina. Eventually that'll happen. All right, round two, the eagle versus the dragon. Go, El Drago. Oh, we nearly got another stadium out. Oh, so many potential stadium outs going about right now. But eagle's managing to hold on, losing balance ever so slightly. But again, it still doesn't look like it's going to be enough for El Drago to win. That was much closer that time, though. Ultimately, it looks like eagle wins that. Eagle's back to take on the upper mode, El Drago. El Drago, El Drago already got a couple swift hits in, trying to get Eagle flung out of the stadium. 
But he keeps flinging them into the areas with the walls. I'm going to readjust this. A little bit more. Yeah, Eagle is doing the same thing as Leon did earlier, aiming itself downward toward El Drago. I'll tell you they're both actually losing stamina, but... Eagle lasts a bit longer. Let it rip. Alright. Next battle. Can El Drago get some more hits? Oh, on Eagle, fling him out of the stadium. He had him for a second right there. But it was not enough to completely fling him out. And now we're back to this strategy. Eagle aiming himself downward around El Drago. And Eagle is the victor. The Eagle defeats the Dragon! The results of this one, I'm actually going to say were pretty damn close. But I think overall, I'm going to give this one to barrage mode because it looked like eagle had less energy at the end of its battles as opposed to upper mode now in these next battles they never actually fought in the anime but i'm including it because it's my favorite bay burn fire blaze burn fire blaze is a stamina type beyblade with a metal sharp performance tip one of my favorite performance tips and just i don't know why, it's just overall one of my favorite bays in performance just to look at and like I just love this bay. I don't know why. I just do. But can it perform well against El Drago? And I don't care if this never happened in the anime. Burn Fireblaze is my favorite bay. bay. We're not going to count that one, but I'm going to keep it in the video because it was funny. There we go. That's a better launch. All right, El Drago, can you get a good few hits to the underside? You nearly got a stadium out. Oh, Fireblaze is already so off balance. If El Drago can get a couple hits to its underside, I think he could win, but the stamina of Fireblaze is incredibly strong. Oh! Oh, 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 that was actually close. I might consider that one a tie. Alright, next round, Barrage Mode, El Drago, go! Okay, it seems one hit can knock Fireblaze off balance, but oh, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I was going to say it takes one hit to knock Fireblaze off balance, but the Metal Sharp performance tip is enough to get him back in balance. But it looks like even with all the hits to the underside, Fireblaze lasted a little bit longer. Another tie is not going to cut it. El Drago needs to win to stay in the game. He's getting a good few hits, but if he can completely knock Fireblaze off balance, he may have a chance of winning. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. The Phoenix rose from the ashes to win. Again, just because he's my favorite, Burn Fireblaze versus El Drago. Oh! Oh! El Drago already got some good hits in on Fireblaze, knocking him way off balance. It doesn't look like the Metal Sharp performance tip is going to help, and El Drago wins! Even though he has a, a few pieces of his fusion wheel being, like, blown off. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, a couple tiny-ass pieces of his fusion wheel got hit off. Well, not fusion wheel, I mean energy ring. It doesn't surprise me. El Drago is willing to risk his own life to defeat his opponent, and I hit the camera. Uh, hold on, I should fix that. Hey, there we go, like, right around there. I'll probably, fi I'll probably fix it later. But yeah, it looks like Fireblaze is holding on much better this time. Yeah, and El Drago, he go down. But it does seem the upper mode is performing a little better. One win, one loss, one final battle needed. Oh, El Drago already went up against two of the walls, losing his stamina a little bit. But he does look like he's getting a good few hits on Fireblaze, knocking him off balance again. If he can just make his fusion wheel touch the floor, he'll just roll off balance, out of bounds, but the Metal Sharp performance tip seems to be keeping him steady up until that point. But he does still look like he has a stable rotation compared to El Drago. And El Drago loses! Burn Fireblaze! Ah! Come back! Burn Fireblaze proves once again why he is my favorite bay. Okay, these battles yielded far more definitive results. 
Upper mode performed much better. Upper mode is going to get the point. Because one, upper mode actually beat Fireblaze one of the times at the sacrifice of his energy ring a little bit. Two, I don't think any of them were a tie. So he had three genuine, three battles with a genuine win from upper mode. But this final round of battles, this is the one that we all want to see. The battles between El Drago and Storm Pegasus. This, this is the only way that this could have ended. Storm Pegasus, right spinning attack type Beyblade with a rubber flat performance tip added having like a lot of friction, giving it a lot of attack power. Oh my king, if, you, if you're watching this, you've probably seen the anime, you've probably seen a bunch of videos on this sort of thing, you already know everything about Pegasus, let's just get into the battles. I mean, we, we had to end on these battles. We just had to. A lot of ricocheting back and forth. Both already losing stamina, that's what happens when you're a short attack type. But... Pegasus spun a bit longer than El Drago did. Time for round two, Dragon vs. the Pegasus! This time not as much backlash between either of the bays, but they are landing some pretty decent attacks on one another, increasing each other's rotation speed, but ultimately it looks like they're both going to... Again, Pegasus spun slightly longer than El Drago did. I believe that's thanks to its rubber sharp performance tip. No wait, did I say, did I say sharp? I meant rubber flat performance tip. Just like in the anime, the Pegasus is the victor. And we have to end it on this time. It only makes sense. El Drago versus Pegasus. This is the only way this video can end. Both attack types hitting each other, increasing each other's rotation. Also decreasing each other's rotation. It's weird how the science works. But it looks like that one was kind of a bit of a tie. Alright, round two. Go El Drago and Pegasus! They were completely avoiding each other for those first couple seconds, but now they're getting a good couple of hits in on each other. Is the upper mode gonna prove better against Pegasus in this set? In this case. It doesn't look like it. That looked like another tie in my opinion. They both tied, so I'm considering that a win and a loss for each. So the next one who wins is the winner. If it's another tie, this is going to go on forever. But it looks like El Drago was getting a good couple hits in on Pegasus. Circling around Pegasus right now. But El Drago spun longer that time. That, I, that one I can definitively say. It seems that the Pegasus was not mightier than the dragon in this sense. It seems these battles were like very evenly matched with the two opponents. But in the end, I do believe Upper Mode caused more damage to Pegasus than Barrage Mode did. So therefore, Upper Mode wins the day. Upper Mode is the stronger version of Lightning El Drago. At least now we have our answers. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, this is not for like genuine statistics. It's just, it's just a little fun thing to do. So keep that in mind. I've been Flozum G. This has been which El Drago mode is the strongest lightning El Drago mode. I can this outro is in shambles and I can wait to see you all in the next video. Bye! Shut up your guardian AC!